Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to track your Binance portfolio. Now without further ado, there's two ways you can track your Binance wallet. The first way is to go over to your Binance PNL, this is the profit and loss analysis. And the second way is to connect your Binance to a portfolio tracker. In this video I will show you how to connect your Binance to Delta. And I will also show you how to find your Binance PNL. However, if you would like to connect your Binance to another portfolio tracker, make sure to go over to the description or the pinned comment, because there I'll link two videos, one of which is how to connect your Binance to Coinspot, and the other one is how to connect your Binance to Blockfolio. Now with all of that being said, the first thing you want to do, if you want to find your Binance PNL, is to go over to Wallet, and then you want to click on Find and Spot. You'll then be sent over to your Find and Spot page. And you'll then see all of your holdings, so your fight and spot balance, your spot balance, your fight balance, and to the right of that, you'll see yesterday's PNL. You'll then see the profit or loss you made yesterday, and if you would like to see the full analysis of your profit and loss, just click on the arrow pointing to the right, right here. And once you click on that, you'll be sent over to your spot profit and loss analysis. Over on this page, you'll see all the information you really need to see. It's the estimated balance, yesterday's PNL, the 30 days PNL, so that's the money you made or lost over the last 30 days. And once you scroll down, you'll see your cumulative PNL, your asset allocations, so that's the amount of money in percentages you have in projects. For me, most of my money is in XRP and RSR, and then I have quite some money in other projects as well. You can also select the period you're viewing your stats for. You can select the 30 days, the 7 days, or even a custom date period. However, please be aware that you can only go up to 3 months, and once you've selected the right time frame, you will also be able to see your daily PNL, so the profit or loss you made per day over the last 7 days, 30 days, or any other time period, the profits you made over that period, so that's the total amount added up, and you will also have your asset net worth. So this is the amount of money all of your investments that are located on Binance are worth for each day. So this is your spot profit and loss analysis. And if you would like to connect your Binance account to a portfolio tracker, make sure to continue watching this video. So if you want to connect your Binance to a portfolio tracker, the first thing you need to do is to go over to the API management. So you want to go over to this icon in the top right and you'll then get a pop-up looking similar to this one. Now you want to go over to API management and click on it. You then have to give your API key a label. So for me, this is going to be Delta. And once you've given your API key a name, you just want to click on create API. You'll then have to go through the security verification process. So you have to click on get code and then fill in the code may be sent to your email, your phone number or generated in the Google Authenticator. And once you fill those in, you want to click on submit. You then see your API list and you want to go over to edit restrictions and you then need to disable all of the options except for enable reading. And once you've done that, make sure to click on save. Also, you need to make sure that the API access restrictions are on unrestricted, even though it's less secure, otherwise there's a high chance it won't work. So now click on save, and you'll then have to once again fill in your two-factor authentication codes. And once you've done that, you can go over to your phone and open up the Delta app. Once it's loaded, you want to go over to the three lines on the left top of your screen, or click on the plus button in the middle of your screen saying create a portfolio by adding your first transaction. You'll then have to click on add new portfolio and give your portfolio a name. For me this will be Binance and then you just want to click on create. You can then go ahead and select your Binance portfolio and you'll then see your new portfolio starts here. And you want to click on the white plus button and you'll then get a pop-up looking similar to this one. Now you want to click on connect exchange account because you want to connect your Binance to Delta. Then you want to click on Binance and then you want to just click on I understand. You then see this screen. And you need to go over to the API key and click on the camera icon to scan the QR code of the API key you just created. Once you click on the icon, you'll have to give Delta access to your camera. And you then want to make sure that you scan your API key and the API secret will also be imported immediately. You can then scroll down over to additional options and select whether or not you would like to import withdrawals or deposits. And you also can go ahead and click on import to decide if you want to import all transactions all transactions since date, new transactions only, or only your balances. And you then just want to click on add connection. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.